Sweetheart, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I swear. I don't know what the hell it was, but it wasn't me. Those things, the things I said to her, they were evil. <laughs> they were unthinkable. <laughs> I saw it in her eyes. Baby, when I said those things to her, it got to a place so deep. It was like she had been torn open all over again. Something had a hold of me. Something dark. Something sinister. <laughs> the taste of revenge. It overtook me. And I couldn't stop myself. Me ill just thinking about it. Take my hand. Look me in the eye. Sweetheart, am I? Am I a monster? <laughs> I feel like one. I've never, I've never felt more like a monster in my entire life. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Oh, I've got to get some air. I need to be alone to think. No, I swear I won't go far. I won't be gone long. Where am I going? I'm gonna go to the library. It's just down the way. If you need me, just come for me. Try to get some rest, sweetheart. I'll be back soon. I love you too. Right. There's got to be information about the Witch Queen in here. More than what Morgan has shown me. I mean, Morgan killed her for God's sakes. She's got to know more about her than anyone. He wouldn't be on the shelves. She'd keep it close to her. Out of sight. Nothing in here. 
Oh, well, that was easier than I thought. What's in this? It looks like a journal. God, it looks like it could be hundreds of years old. I've hit the jackpot. I guess I'll start reading at the beginning. I do not know how our land can survive her reign. The beloved king is no longer in power. The queen has taken him over as well as everyone else. She is the vilest of creatures. I was in the town square today and saw her have a man killed just because she had the power to do so. Everyone around her cowers in fear by her mere presence. And if anyone goes against her, her revenge is swift and unmerciful. I've begged Father not to make me leave the farm. It's not that I'm afraid of her. I just can't abide by her actions much longer. <laughs> God. The king has fallen. And so has the hope my people have been holding on to. The queen has made a terrible request. To make amends for letting the king fall, she has called for each family in the land to send a sacrifice. One of their own to die as punishment. The families that do this will be spared any further wrath from her. I have no choice. Well, I do. But I would much rather it be me than any of my family. I know this sounds monstrous, but it would save me from a life married to a man I do not love. Dresden would be free to find someone to love him as I cannot. So tomorrow morning, I leave my home and I give my life so that my family may live and to give myself freedom. Christ, Morgan went to her death willingly. The queen really was an unthinkable monster, slaying one from every family in the land, or to get revenge for the king's death. It has been weeks since I had this dear book in my hands. I am glad to have found it. These memories will need to be kept for our kind's history. So where do I begin? We've been cursed. Our families butchered in front of us. Turned into demons. <laughs> Shit. What do I do with this? Shit. 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 Close your sleepy little eyes, my son. <laughs> Mama's got you. <laughs> God. Her eyes. She looks exhausted and broken. I've got to get out of here. Ah, uh, oh, I, uh, I was just leaving. I'm sorry. No, it's quite all right. I'll, I'll take my leave. Morgan. Yes, Ben. Uh, 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 I'm so sorry. You did not say anything that wasn't true. And after what I did to you, it was fully and utterly deserved. Morgan. <sighs> oh, I don't have words for what's happened over the last three days. But what I do know is that it's bigger than us. There's something more that we're missing. I mean, you've seen it. Everyone's been acting outside their nature since the baby was born. I mean, my girl, she would never dream of hurting your son. 
even the fact that it was even a thought in her mind stuns me. People do things they normally wouldn't when they're afraid. But a fear that strong. She's lived under the gun for months. And I've never seen her that afraid. It's different. And as for me, I felt it too. Morgan, the things I said to you, it was as if a shadow, a dark, dark shadow, filled the room and even the air in my lungs. And I couldn't stop it. I looked at you. I became consumed with revenge. It's like the beast in me was clawing its way forward to utterly destroy you. But at the same time, I knew you couldn't be destroyed. And that's when those words spilled out of me. I... I felt the same thing right after the baby was taken from me. I laid there as vulnerable as I've ever been in my life, and it was as if something took the opportunity to get inside me. And after taking all of my husband's blood, it just increased that feeling 100-fold. The power was all-consuming and intoxicating beyond anything I've ever known. You see, I'm telling you, something strange is among us. That's why I'm in the library tonight, just trying to find answers. Any answer to what the hell this is. I am in here for the same reason. And I see you found my journal. Uh, um, I didn't mean any harm. I just stumbled across it. No harm done. It is what I was coming in here for myself. Where did you reach in it? Oh, the queen cares in you. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I remember it vividly. <laughs> you said you wanted answers. Ask your questions, Ben. I will not withhold anything from you any longer. Okay. How did she die? I killed her. After she cursed us, I took it upon myself to end her. I had never been afraid of her. And with my newfound strength in the curse, I led a revolt. I found her in her chambers, and I ripped her throat out with my teeth. <laughs> she died within mere moments, gargling and drowning in her own blood. My smile was the last thing her eyes beheld as her flesh turned pale in the agony of death. Christ. <laughs> yes, it was in my finest moment, but I am not ashamed by it. There wasn't any telling what she would have done to us had she lived. Sorry. She was intent on making you and your kind suffer. For as long as she had breath. Without a doubt. I'm sure had she been able, she would have pursued us even in her death. Even in her death. Even in her death. Even in her death. Her death. <laughs> Everyone around her cowers in fear by her mere presence. Fear, but a fear that's strong. She's been under the gun for months, and I've never seen her that afraid. It's different. Revenge. Her revenge is swift and unmerciful. I looked at you, and I became consumed with revenge. I felt like the beast in me was clawing its way forward and wanting to utterly destroy you. Power. I was in the town square today and saw her have a man killed just because she had the power to do so. Power to do so. And after taking all of my husband's blood, the power was all consuming and intoxicating. Yes. 
What if? What if she has? Has what? Ben, you're as white as a ghost. It all makes sense. You said it yourself in your journal. She was corrupted. By power. She thrived on fear. And she was consumed with revenge. And we've seen every one of those things manifest in the last three days. My girl, overcome with fear, wanting to hurt your son. You, becoming drunk with power. And me, and the urge to destroy you. The witch's fingerprints are all over this. Ben, I do see what you're saying, and I'm not saying it's not possible. It makes more sense than I care to admit, but... Morgan, you have to admit it's a strange coincidence. And further, what you did, what I did, what my girl did, we were acting us in our nature. I believe that of you and your lady. But... Myself, I do not put it past me to do what I did under the right motivation. That is the nature of a monster. But I will say, in a way, I am glad I pushed you to your limit. It made you push me to mine and finally hold my son. That is when the fog cleared and when I finally saw him. My precious baby boy. This isn't over, Morgan. My body is wired with intuition. And it makes my hair stand on end. Just thinking about it. We must be aware. War is coming for us. And I fear it's not with the regime alone. I agree, Ben. But I don't know which battle is coming first. Yet... I do know one thing. This is yours. What is it? The cure. (laughs) What? It explains in detail what needs to be done to rid yourself of the curse. If you stay to fight, you do it on your own terms. If you leave... Then may you and your lady be blessed beyond your wildest dreams, my friend. Morgan. Well, I had my choice taken from me. I will not take yours from you. It is your choice. No one else's. Well, I can't believe it. After all this time, It's right here in my hands. All these years, my family telling me there was no hope. Christ. All these years of turning, the agony of it. Fear of having a son. The cure exists. And it's in my hands. Thank you. I am... I am very sorry I ever used it as leverage against you. I hope that one day you, you can forgive me. I too hope for that. (laughs) Well, where does this leave us? We have less than two days before the full moon. I, I don't have a choice. And not this time. If I'm cured, my girl lives. But yet again, if I'm cured, 
your clan loses a much needed force. Ben, do not worry about my family. We will do what we do best. Fight and survive. You have your own family to think about. <laughs> Go to your lady. Pack your things. My generals will meet you with supplies you need to make the cure and then escort you to safety. Take the cure and be free. Free. Have lots of babies and end the curse for your line. My oath to watch over your line until the end of time remains and will be fulfilled. Just forget you ever came here. Go start your new life. You're very kind to say that and to wish us well. Thank you, Ben. But, um, before you leave, I want you to know my son's name. His first name is after my father, Liam. But his middle name is Benjamin. After the one who gave him back to me. He will know of his namesake. Goodbye, Morgan. Goodbye, my dear friend. Oh, Morrigan. The tyrant who took my life from me. I knew you would be powerful. But I had no idea how much strength you would actually possess. I've been watching you rebuild some semblance of a life all these years. And it would appear you found a happiness that dares contend with the curse of misery I've bestowed upon you. But I've not been standing idly by. I've been carefully laying the bricks. Calculating the steps to your demise since my death. Poison in the hearts of man for centuries. To raise an army that could one day reckon with you. Should a reckoning ever be needed. You know, the wolf is smarter than I gave him credit for. He was even on to me before you were. I really must thank you for sending him on his way. He was beginning to seem impossible to capture. Hiding safe behind your walls. He and his lady won't make it a mile beyond your borders before I leave my spies to them. He'll be a willing. <laughs> or unwilling participant in this reckoning. His power. His strength. His rage. He'll not go to waste. And oh, my sweet little monster. Hold tight to your son while you can. You and your husband may not be able to die. But that half-human, wretched baby of yours can. Just as I did all those years ago. It is once again time for me to take everything you hold dear and crush it before your very eyes. 
you truly think you could find happiness and love again? I will make your cold, dead hands choke the life out of that innocent little baby. And I will relish the screams that will rip from your lungs as you hold your lifeless son in your arms. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, you will be reminded of what you really are. A demon. A monster. Damned to be alone for all eternity. Get ready for me, Morrigan. I am coming for you. Your world is about to end, and you, my puppet, will bring it about with your own two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Get our son as far away from me as you can. Take him and run. Run now!